My name is Ella Rickerson, and this is my SumoBot project using Lynx 3.0, the newest edition of Lynx from LabVIEW Maker Hub. We have two bots. We have a BeagleBone Black and a Raspberry Pi on the FingerTech Cobra Mini Sumo chassis. Both bots use the PMOD 82 and the PMOD voltage level shifter. And we have controllers that are corresponding to the Raspberry Pi 2 and this one back here with the, with the BeagleBone Black and we have the PMOD joystick 2 on either side. The SumoBot controllers use differential steering, also known as tank drive, so the right joystick controls the right set of motors and the left joystick controls the left set of motors. We also have two triggers on the back, um, so we can rotate the robot in place. Right trigger spins to the right and the left trigger spins it to the left. The robot will automatically stop when it sees white, so you will have to put it back on black and pull both triggers to reset. If both joysticks are pressed down at the same time, the Sumo Bot will switch to autonomous mode, where it will move forward until one of the front sensors senses white, in turn until it no longer sees white, and then move forward again. Now let's take a look at the LabVIEW code. This is the LabVIEW code for the controller. Since we are using a Raspberry Pi and a BeagleBone Black, the code that you write in LabVIEW actually gets deployed to the board. Inside the while loop, we get data from the joysticks and send it to the SumoBot over Wi-Fi using UDP. Now let's take a look at the LabVIEW code for the BeagleBone Black SumoBot. The top while loop uses a UDP read to collect the data sent over from the controller the middle loop gathers information from the sensors by reading the PMOD82, and the bottom loop uses information from the top two loops to control the motors of the Sumo Bot. To end the code, we would press the stop button, which will exit all of the loops. Then when it, it's out of the outer while loop, we close the reference to the 82 and to links, as well as the UDP socket. Thank you for watching. Please check out my Instructables for detailed instructions, source code, and schematics.